What's going on guys, this is Alec here and welcome to my first Ultimate Team video of FIFA 22. So this video is exactly as it says on the title, this is the most OP uh, formation that I've used on this game so far. Anyway, a couple of uh, me and my mates have tried it out and we can definitely say that this is the best formation so far. I haven't even got that good a team and I've come up against some class teams and the formation just seems to work so well. Now I'm more of a sort of passing around type of player, you know, not sort of spamming them balls down the line and in behind and just using pace to get everywhere. I think I've only got one player in this team that's over 90 pace, which is DRB. I, I like to play like a nice pass and kind of football and this formation just seems to work so well for that. It's also solid defensively. So I'm not going to prolong it out any further. This is the custom formation that I use. It's the 3-5-2, which may surprise some of you. But actually, with some of the OP centre-back choices in this game, and the fact that, like you can see, from my starting team here. Obviously, I don't mean to be sort of giving you information that you don't already know, but someone like Lucas Hernandez, who's not a very good left back, you can play him left back, and he's actually got all right stats as a centre back, because when you come into the custom tactics and you play the 3-5-2, he's playing as the centre back there. And it would also work perfectly, like I've obviously got Ricardo Pereira playing on the right mid once I change the custom tactics, but you know, if you've got Kyle Walker, you can drop him into centre back and he makes a perfect outside centre back there. Uh, and you know you've got so much different choices and options and the thing is about this formation I'd love to go into loads and loads of details about what player instructions to give what player and, and you know the sort of the best ways but I genuinely feel like this formation less is more I'm gonna go on to my custom tactics now and you're gonna see I've hardly got any sort of instructions on any of them I've got my two CDMs to stay back while attacking and cover center as you can see there, no defensive behaviour. Um, on my wide mids, I've got no instructions. Even though I felt like putting loads of them on, you play like this and it just feels right. And then Foden just has stay forward, nothing else. And then both of my strikers have nothing. You can play around with it as much as you want, but I've genuinely found that this is the best thing for it. And then on to the actual tactics itself. I think this is another one that can be tweaked. Guys, the formation is the most important part of this. You can tweak these however you want, but I genuinely, I urge you just to try what I have on the screen here now before you do anything else and then make your mind up after that. Honestly, like, like my team isn't even that good. I've been coming up against class teams and just beating them easily, and they seem like pretty good players as well, but this formation, it's just, when you're in possession and you're on the attack, you just seem to have options all over the place. You've got then three central players with a cam and two strikers, who occupy all of the centre backs, and then if a full back comes to tuck in, you've got your wide mids to play that wide ball, and I'm going to show you some clips at the end of this, um, well, this little segment here, and you're going to see how overpowered the formation actually is. Um, yeah, guys, I honestly, I urge you just to try it, I beg you. So we're going into the highlights now and as you're going to see in the background is, is the highlights of me playing and, and some of the goals I've scored from the clips. The most important thing to take from all of these is like not like I hardly do anything actually good in these highlights but I just want you to pay like particular attention to the players positioning on the pitch. Now this first goal I scored like you can see it's half time and I'm 1-0 down. This is the first time I switched to 3-5-2. I was halfway through a game the formation I was using wasn't working so I switched to the 3-5-2 at half time and you're going to see me in the second half of this game absolutely demolish this guy. Like, like I said just look at the positions like the options look I'm playing it out wide to both my wide mids get a little bit lucky with that goal but it started over with Diaby on the left hand side finished by Saka the width is so good and like you can see that the defenders are being dragged in by the two strikers in the cam and look at all these overloads we have on the sides of the pitch again Saka was played in that time a good finish by him also like the defensive positioning like you'll see a lot of these clips of me tackling the ball and then instantly being able to go um like i will get lucky like this one but just look at the play in general like i did get lucky there of course but just look at the play in general and like i'm gonna say it again the positioning of the players and just how easy it is to find teammates and stuff without me even having to try like really hard so i, I don't know this is definitely the best tactic i've used up until now the only thing I would say is make sure your outside wing backs are fast. I've got Tyrone Mings, who's only got like 72 pace, and Upper Meccano, who has got a bit better pace, like 81. And Upper Meccano's decent, Mings is definitely the weak spot in this team. So if you are going to buy one, or you are going to try this team, make sure you know, you've know you got one of them OP centre backs out on the, on the wide mids. 
But I was also shocked as well, like you'll see some of these highlights, like how effective the wing backs are. Like that goal you just saw there, I'm not going to rewind it back or anything, but the defender followed the run of Ricardo Pereira, who's my right mid, and that gave Griezmann the space in the middle to just be able to open up a shot. Again, releasing Saka down this left-hand side, ball into the back post and we score. Like the width is just so, so good. And I don't want this to seem as if it's like a cross-heavy like type of formation, because it's not, but I just feel like the option are there when you need them to be and like with the wide mids especially like they're so effective and I feel like the two strikers and the cam this again was a little bit lucky but again you see Saka to the other wing back played it back in the middle easy goal and this one again just on the transitions like the thing is you look at the outnumbering that we've got We've essentially got five players attacking their four defenders because players will usually play four at the back. You've got your cam and your two strikers and then you've got your two wide mids. You've got five players going up against four. And again, look at that there where we take the ball. The defensive positioning of everyone is so sound, so sick, so solid. Uh, it's just easy. And then we go on the break. It's obviously a lovely finish by Lotor Martinez. But the formation is just unbelievable. I honestly urge you to try this. You will not regret it, um, especially with better players. It's going to be even better again but thank you all for watching and peace